What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again here with another video. So if this is your first time watching, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have in the land of PlayStation and Xbox as well as PC. If that is something that intrigues you, then this is the place for you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. All right, guys, so we're back at it again. You guys said that you wanted more PC content on the channel so we're starting off here fresh off the rip with the 5090 graphics card the official first look we've been getting a bunch of 5080 you know uh specs and even what it's going to look like in terms of like their aib partners for nvidia but now we have an idea of what the 5090 is going to look like and this is from inno 3d they're basically an aib partner of nvidia they make a bunch of you know aftermarket gpu stuff like that uh with their coolers and stuff but nevertheless let's go ahead and let's take a look at this exclusive first look tomorrow it's going down nvidia jensen will be on stage you know revealing the whole 5090 uh catalog of gpus as well as laptops so let's go ahead and let's take it away all right so this is coming from videocards.com exclusive first look at the geforce rtx 5090 with 32 gigs of gddr7 memory and uh holy mother of god the first geforce rtx 5090 graphics card picture 32 gigs of RAM, which is obviously heavily rumored at this point. And basically, it confirms the memory to be 32 gigs. Now, Inno3D is set to launch its new iChill X3 design. Now, this card, the GeForce RTX 5090 iChill X3, is a flagship Blackwell uh, base model from this company. It features a massive 3.5 slot thick cooler which is actually highlighted as one of its key features. So this is going to be a big boy, man. I'm telling you guys now, currently only one picture of the card is available. So the number of power connectors cannot be confirmed. However, the packaging reveals that it comes with a 32 gigabyte of GDDR7 memory. This is the first confirmed detail about the 5090s memory configuration. This confirms that the flagship RTX model will indeed have twice the capacity of the 5080 model now according to the unofficial information the 5090 will use the gb202 gpu and will be the only SKU in the 50 series to feature this processor at least for now the card is expected to include 21,760 cuda cores and it's 32 gigs of memory will operate at a 512 bit bus so memory bus there with the gddr7 memory running at 28 gigabits per second and it will deliver nearly 1.8 tb per second of bandwidth which is insane now the rtx 5090 has the tdp of 575 watt which is obviously 125 watts more than its predecessor. Now, NVIDIA is set to announce the SKU tomorrow during CES 2025 keynote. The card will be showcased alongside the 5080 and the 5070 Ti. However, the 5080 is expected to be the first model to launch. So there you guys go. This is all the specs here. And the rumor is, is that uh, January 21st, 2025 will be the release date apparently for the 5080. 5080 is gonna go first instead of the 90 series. Typically they do the 90 series first, but now they're doing the 80 series. And I guess the 5090 won't be far off from release. But yeah, man, this thing is going to be a monster. Now in terms of price, guys, in terms of the price, yeah, this thing is probably going to be about $2,500, especially for these aftermarket companies like Asus, you know, Inno3D, MSI, and the likes. This thing is going to be expensive. Now, the rumor have it that it's going to be over $2,000. Some people are thinking that it's going to be about $2,000. Either way, to obviously, that's more than the $4,090. And, you know, yeah, you're getting way more CUDA cores 
you know, way more uh, VRAM, things of that nature. And yeah, this thing is going to be a beast. So yeah, the fact that right now NVIDIA feels like they don't have any competition when it comes to AMD and things of that sort is just beyond me. But yeah, it's going down tomorrow, guys. I will keep you guys up to date in regards to, you know, price, official pricing of the 5090 and the entire 50 series line dlss4 as well is uh rumored to be launching alongside you know uh basically the 50 series class and everything like that so that's going to be interesting now it's going to be interesting to also see how nvidia handles frame generation this time around so frame generation 2.0 dlss4 i don't know if they're going to make dlss4 available to the 40 series class i mean i think they should considering that it was that way with the 40 series uh and below you still even if you had a 30 series you still had access to dlss 3.5 things of that nature the only thing that you're being locked away from would be frame generation but man i want to see raw hardcore performance that's what i want to see you know what I mean? I want to see a huge uplift from the 4090 with the 5090 if all the rumors are to be believed and things of that nature. But yeah, this thing is going to be really, really expensive. And on top of that, we had Corsair wants you to prepare for the next gen GPUs that could use up to 600 watt. So this is also another article that had popped up that I wanted to mention, basically saying right here, Corsair wants you to prepare for the next gen GPUs that could use up to 600 watts. Now, the company has launched a dedicated page with PCU recommendations so obviously you know they drop a video here and if you're not sure which power supply is best for your next generation gpu corsair might be able to help while nvidia has yet to reveal basically obviously we're still waiting on them with the rtx 50 series corsair a lead-in producer of power supplies and pc cases launching a new site and badge to simplify the product selection so the next i quote next gen gpu ready badge will appear on pcus chassis and cooling product pages so this is cool so the initiative is that corsair's way of helping users to choose the best hardware for their new systems interestingly corsair opt not to wait just two more days to officially brand this program as rtx 50 ready so obviously you know they're gonna the next gen gpus is supposed to be utilizing the 12 volt two uh six pin power connectors uh and so yeah this is what we're actually hearing only the latest atx 3.1 pcie 5.1 power supplies will feature this updated connector designed primarily for nvidia's upcoming gpus hopefully this revised design may prevent the connector uh from becoming obviously the hottest topic of the year because y'all remember the situation with the 4090 with the power connector i guess overheating or some people were saying catching on fire or whatever issues that people were having before that but nevertheless i cannot freaking wait man so yeah, guys, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Will you be buying the 5090 for your PC setup? I know here on the channel, I will try my best to get the 5090 so that we can unbox it, review it. I mean, I missed out on the 4090 and I'm not going to be missing out on the 5090. This is like the second generation after the 3090. The 3090 was my last 90 series card. And so, yeah, you know, coming from the 3090 going to the 59 that's going to be a huge upgrade so i'm definitely going to be checking out a bunch of stuff on the channel for you guys doing benchmarks uh you guys know i have an ultra wide monitor so i'm going to be you know showcasing all these games you guys also know that i have a 4080 super um aorus uh 4080 super gigabyte master class so that is a great gpu there hasn't really given me any issues or anything like that but i'm gonna have a second cpu uh second pc bill on the channel where i'm gonna be building that around the 5090 once we get it so if that's something that intrigues you hit that subscribe button hit that like button and i'll see you guys tomorrow man when we officially uh get 
official information in regards to the 5090 and the entire line of 50 series cards, including uh, laptops. So see you guys and a whole lot more. We out. Peace.